Hey everybody, Superfluous Jay here, playing some Factorio. Uh, this is a new series. It's going to be hopefully a long-running series. And in it, I am going to uh, play an entire game of Factorio, focusing on explaining what's going on and also detailing every single piece in the game and what they are used for. Um, this is intended for beginners. It's intended to be a tutorial series, and uh, it's not intended to cover every single way you could possibly do anything. It's not intended to make a mega base. It's not intended to be perfect. It is intended, though, to get you into the game and uh, show you how to do certain different things that uh, will help you out. So um, we're going to start by starting a new game. That new game is going to be free play. As it says here, this is the intended way to play Factorio. <clears throat> so we're gonna start that. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click this preview button. And that way we can see what is on the map. Um, we can see what things look like so that when we pick things, we can see how they change everything on the map. Then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna pick Rail World. Um, I think Rail World is good for beginners uh, for several reasons. One, that it uh, it spreads the ores out a little bit, gives you a little bit more room to build without covering ores. And secondly, uh, I just personally like it myself. <laughs> um, it also uh, spreads the biters out and it also makes it so they do not expand, which I think is good for a beginner and it's also good for making lots of rails in that uh, once you clear an area out, it's cleared out forever, and it's yours, you own it. Um, and you don't have to worry about that. Now, cliffs, normally I would turn cliffs off, but uh, because I'm going to explain everything in the game, I'm going to just turn them down. So they're there, but they're just not very annoying. And uh, as far as enemies are concerned, we're going to leave that alone from the real world and advanced. I'm going to turn on always research queue. It's not a huge deal, um, especially for a beginner who doesn't know what they're going to research but I personally like it. Then we're going to uh, think about what we want in the game. Um, and it's it's important to have two things. One, you want a lot of trees. Um, trees are very annoying in the game, but they're very useful in that they block pollution. Um, if you still build a factory here, the pollution is going to spill out into this desert and all these biters are going to get mad at you and come and attack you. These ones up here will be fine because the trees will eat the pollution. So you want to refresh the map a couple times until you find trees, um, lots of trees. This is a little bit better because if you build in here, the trees will block everything there. Um, and then this will be even better. See, this, this one's really good because trees are everywhere throughout the map. So no matter which way you expand to, your pollution is going to get eaten by these trees. The next thing you want, though, is you want all your ores together because especially at the beginning of the game, like just, just these starter ores, those, these ones up here don't matter. Um, at the beginning of the game, though, you're going to have to be running back and forth between these two patches, and that can get really annoying really quick. So you want to have trees and that, which of course means you're going to be refreshing a lot of times. Now, this map is actually pretty good, even though this is a stone patch here, and it's kind of eating into the iron patch. But really, this is a pretty good start. I, I would actually probably be happy with a start, except for the fact that I'm going to put in a specific seed number. And whenever I have trouble, I always like to call Jenny at 8675309. And she just happens to make a pretty nice map. We've got copper, we've got iron, we've got coal, we've got stone, we've got water here, we've got tons of trees, and we have a nice uh, vertical um, peninsula, whatever you want to call it, isthmus, <laughs> uh, strait, uh, land strait, which is an isthmus, um, going up and down, and plenty of room to expand, and that looks pretty good. Uh, we got some some biters up here, kind of close to the stone patch. We got some over here. We'll have to worry about in the in the immediate future. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'm going to click play. And as always, we get this. Uh, if, assuming you're starting on this actual thing, there's some stone right here that that is a, a good first thing to, to mine as soon as you uh, as soon as you need it. But the first very first thing I want to do when you start a new game is they give you a burner mining drill a stone furnace, a thing of wood, I don't know why, and some iron plates. Um, you want to put the burner mining drill on some iron. I'm picking this little patch here just so, so we can get rid of it as quickly as possible. Then you want to put this down here. Then you're going to need to chop down a couple trees, get some wood, and then you're going to want to put it in here. Now if you hold down control, I'm holding down control, and then you right click, half of your, half of your, what you're going goes into there. And if you left click, the other half goes into here. Now what I did was I put wood 
in this thing and it burn it's burning the wood it's a burner mining drill and it's mining what's under it which is ore this guy put wood in him he's going to smelt whatever happens to go into him and turn it into in this case iron plates and if you look here if i'm hovering over here you see there's an arrow from him going into him that means he's going to send him here if i turn him he's actually going to put it on the ground which is bad so we want to rotate him around pick this up i right clicked it and then throw it in there so it gets it gets mined as well or it gets smelted i'm sorry as well and now this guy's going to run until he runs out of wood this guy's going to run until he runs out of wood and then they're going to send up an alert um very important thing if you want to hit alt i just hit the alt key notice that this toggled you can also toggle it by doing this um this gives you a little bit of information on things and i i find it super useful most people who play the game find it super useful to to do that um now we're we're mining or we're smelting it into plates, what can you do with those? Well, you can build things. Um, I hit the E key here by default. Um, all, all my controls are by default. And uh, you can make a whole bunch of different things. Um, these lists are gonna get bigger and bigger as the game goes on and we research more things. But basically you've got four tabs here. You've got logistics, which is moving things around and um, and powering things and, and, and storing things. Like, like, what do you do with your items? Uh, then we've got production, which is kind of buildings and and things that things that do things. So so this stuff moves stuff around, and then this stuff creates things, takes things, and things like that. Then intermediate products is all the little things like wires, gears, um, science. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really an intermediate product, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Um, and then uh, combat, which uh, it's kind of far-reaching when you when you add things like radars, but they had to go somewhere, I guess. So anyway. Uh, in order to um, continue this, we, we want a lot of these, this construct, this miner going into this uh, furnace. So for, for that, we're going to need to build furnaces. And notice furnaces take stone. Um, it's good to find big chunks of stone on your map like this because um, I just got 20 some stone for that. Whereas mining a, a block of stone on the ground, see I got 20 for that. And then if we look over here, if I, if I mine this stone patch over here, sorry, it's nighttime. That's just one of the joys of the game. If I mine this, like it took about the same amount of time and I got one stone for it. So that's that's a terrible, <laughs> terrible thing. So now we can make two miners and we can make eight furnaces. So I'm gonna make two miners. Notice the furnaces go down too. That's because if you look on this thing here, in order to make a furnace, you need to make, I'm sorry, in order to make a miner, you need to make a furnace and a couple other things. So when I clicked this, the game just automatically queued it all up down here. Now a furnace itself just takes one thing. So now I've made two miners and a single furnace. I'm gonna make a second furnace. So now I have two of each. Now I can take my miners, put one here, then I'm just rotating with the R key. And notice also you can't put them down where there's no ore. Um, and I'm gonna put the other one here. Then I'm gonna, oh, here's another thing, Q picks a uh, an option, uh, it, it picks the thing that's already on the ground. You can hit E and always grab stuff out of your inventory, but if if you have a thing nearby that's what you want to put down, you can just hover over and hit Q. It makes it a lot easier a lot of times to, uh, to, to to grab the thing really quick. Now, of course, all this stuff here is sitting here and it uh, <laughs> it wants, um, it wants uh, whatever you call it, fuel. And we don't have any fuel. We have four pieces of wood total in our inventory. So I think I'm gonna actually sacrifice two of these miners to do this. We're gonna put one miner here and one miner here. Now what these guys are gonna do is, as soon as we power them, let me throw a piece of coal in one of these guys. Throw a piece of coal in him. Now he's running and he's going to mine coal and put it in him. And as soon as he gets that piece of coal, he's gonna start mining coal and put it back into him, which seems like a waste of coal, but they use a lot less coal than they get so they're gonna slowly build up on coal. Now if I hold down the shift key, or sorry, control key, and click on these guys, I instantly pick up the coal. Now I have six coal in my inventory. Um, now I have 10 coal in my inventory. So what I can do is I can take this coal, I can, I can hold on control and right click this guy to put half of what's in my hand in him. And then I can left click this guy to put the rest of it in him. So now I'm mining, I'm mining iron again. And I'll pull the iron plates out of him so I can build another burner mining drill. And as soon as I get that, I'll put that here so that now I have two of these guys going, pull the coal out of these, and then dump it in him so that we now get more of this stuff going. Now, we still got a little bit of stone. We're running low on it, but we've got some. 
Um, we need more iron though, so I'm just waiting for these things to get enough iron so I can build a third burner mining drill. I'm actually going to build four here. We're going to put that guy there. And, oh, and also, this is notice these are these aren't the same as these. These are actually ghosts, and it actually had a ghost picture on him <laughs> when I when I selected. See, it's got a ghost. That means this is like a plan to in the future build this. Um, I can't do it now because I, I don't have one, but now I just built these and now I can hover over this hit Q and then it puts one in my hand and then I can just drop it right on top of the ghost. Um, ghosts aren't uh, sacrosanct. As soon as you put anything down, it'll cover up that ghost. It's sort of like an idea, like here, I want to do this in the future sort of thing. Um, it also comes in handy once we get robots, but that's way in the future. We're gonna talk about that <laughs> a lot longer from now. Then now I'm just gonna really quickly put um, my coal in these guys so they so they're running, because I want to as quickly as possible build another mining drill. And you notice that that the more of these we have, obviously the quicker we can uh, the quicker we can build more. I was able to build this one a lot faster than I was able to build the second and third one simply because uh, they're making iron at, at triple the rate. Uh, let's see. Oh oh, I need a stone furnace for him. Oh never mind. I'm not sure why I was trying to make another one when really the problem is I need to put coal in him. Okay, so now we're mining iron. We're mining coal. Um, we also are going to need to start thinking about mining stone. Because we, we have some stone chunks around, but we don't actually have enough, uh, enough of those to, to do us. And we also want to do it automatically. So we're gonna, we're gonna do another burner mining drill and I'm also going to chop down a tree in order to make a wooden box, a wooden chest, as it were. Uh, then we're gonna throw a, this guy down here, we're gonna throw the box down. You don't need to smelt stone. You can smelt stone, but for our purposes right now, we don't need to. So I'm gonna throw just throw that wood in there. I've got some coal, but no big deal. And that's just gonna fill that guy up with stone so we can run up there every once in a while and, uh, and get more stone. I'm just right clicking to put half, left clicking to put all the rest because there was two in there that I wanted to do. Um, it's not it's not perfect ratios or anything. I'm just trying to keep these things running right now. That's the only goal. We're, we haven't automated anything really yet. You know, the closest we've had to automating things is that this automatically goes into here to, to give us plates. Okay, the next thing we're gonna want is uh, copper. We we haven't we haven't. Uh, oops, sorry. We we haven't. Uh, started mining copper yet and that's that's the third of all the resources that we've got to do here and yeah see like we can get stone out of this a lot faster than we can anything and I'm, I'm actually going to trade that for the coal just to uh just to get the that that running longer because it's so far away I want it even though I don't need stone as much as I need anything else I want that to run as, as long as possible without me having to go babysit it so now I can make more miners and I can make more furnaces but notice I made the furnaces to put in the miner, so now we don't have any furnaces at all. So I need to run back up here and grab more stone. These things look like they're stone blocks, but they're not. They're just ground decorations. Um, you can tell that by hovering over them. If you hover over something you could uh, mine out, it would uh, it would highlight. See now that like no no that's coal. See see the, it highlights it in red. So like but these these things here that look like stones are not. This this now is a stone because it's it's this big block. So I could mine this and get a lot of stone, and I'm going to because it's nice to have. Okay, I want two more furnaces. And then I want to go like this and this, and then we'll drop the furnaces here and here. We'll grab a bunch of coal, if we were close enough. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go boom, 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 and then just drop that in there and just get that going. And then the last thing I want to do before uh, we finish up this episode here is I want to double my iron production because I think I think four isn't quite enough. And I, oh, there's two things I want to do actually. I want to I want to double or maybe even triple my coal production because we're going to need a lot of coal and we're going to need a lot of iron um, going forward. So I'm going to make two more of these, which is uh, which is going to allow me to double this. Now, now these guys going back and forth, we could put two more like this, but that's not that's not quite as good because they, they don't fix each other if there's any problems. So if I instead go like this with these guys, he's gonna feed him, he's gonna feed him, he's gonna feed him, and they're gonna go around in a circle. Um, that's gonna give us a lot more coal than we had before, which obviously we need because we have more 
things burning coal now than, than we ever have before. Um, then I need a little bit more stone. So I gotta run all the way up here. And we're gonna need um, three, four, we got four miners and, and then looks like we're gonna need one more stone furnace. Uh, but we want the four miners and I think one, two, three, I'm gonna put a ghost down here for this guy. And then we're gonna want one, two, three, four of those. And I think we can put him down now. And we're gonna need a little bit more stone. Let's go ahead and take some coal up here with us just to uh, make sure we've keeping this guy topped up. He's only got eight left. I think I'll put half of my stack in there because I don't want to spend it all because I'm going to have to fill up these miners down here and the furnaces because none of these guys have anything. I want to make one more stone furnace and then plop it there. Take even more coal out of these guys. And then I'm just going to go right click, 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 and I don't even have enough coal to, uh, to do all that. So this is why I kind of want to have more of these uh, see, we're already out of stone again. No, actually, we're not out of stone again. Oh, yeah, we need five stone and we have none. So, yeah, we, we do need more stone. The, the stone looks like it, it feels like we probably should put another one up there, but that's not actually true. Um, because as soon as we get these first ones done, we, we don't need stone for anything anymore. So, so it's okay to, to kind of not have enough of these at the beginning. Um, so I want, yeah, I'm going to have six of these total, so let's, let's get this guy and then get his, and we have six of those making coal, and that should be enough coal to get us going once it, once it starts getting built up and we, uh, and we get these guys all filled up. Oh, can't reach. Oh, and then we got this one over here, <laughs> just running around throwing coal and stuff as, as they need it. Uh, is just that's the order of the day so right click right click left click just keep them going and um, That's it for now. Uh, that's the burner phase um, You can you can put more miners down if you want to you can uh, you can not even put this many down um, It's just this is a good amount to, to get you started to, to start on the next phase Which is what we're gonna do next video, which is going to be uh, getting power up and running So so I hope uh, I hope you're looking forward to that. I hope this helped out somebody um, if it did, go ahead and comment. If it didn't, uh, comment as well and let me know what didn't work. Uh, I uh, will continue this uh, in the next video. Like I said, we're going to head up here to the water and we're going to get some uh, power generation and hopefully also get some science going. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm Superfluous J and I will, as always, talk at you later.